video for 7.3. Alright, we're going to start out looking at these circles we have. Um, on the left I have one at 1.25. Let's start right here on the center. 1.25. And the small one here is 1. And the overall is 6.5, so I'm going to dimension center, center, 6.5 divided by 2 and I'm going to draw the circles on the right which are a radius of 1 so that will be 2 enter and a radius of 1.25 let me back that up circle. I've got a radius of 1, so that'll be 2. just want to make sure. Then I have a radius of 1.25, so that'll be 2.5. And I'm going to dimension from center, center, 6.5, enter. Okay, the center part is going to have lines. I'm just going to pick any point, draw those in. And they are 0 0.75 apart. And also you center that up so the center would be 0 0.375. And it jumped off on me. Let me back that up. Let's see what's wrong. Point three seven five enter. Nope. Let me delete that one. Let's try the other line. Point seven five divided by two. And well, I'm just going to try to zero these out. Zero, and I'm going to try this one. Make sure that that one, that one's okay. So everything's back on center. So what you pretty much have to do is just go to dimension, choose the center here, and choose there, and make make sure the dimension is zero, and it puts everything on the same plane here. It might, that might not happen to you, but that's how I had to straighten mine out. Okay, I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to go to the center, but I'm not going to click. I'm going to come up here and then come back down and I'm going to trim all of this off that I don't need. Trim that off and I'm going to trim this. I'm going to finish sketch and I'm going to go to extrude, type in 0.5, choose this, hit OK. Now, I'm going to put another sketch on here. I'm going to draw that circle again. Draw this circle again. I'm just going to do each one of these where you get some practice. Finish sketch. Extrude. Because this has to be an inch total, I have to put um, a quarter of an inch on each side. So I'm going to type in 0.25. Enter. Come around to the other side. Sketch. Recreate those circles. Go to finish sketch. Extrude. Quarter of an inch. Choose that. Hit OK. So we have our back side is at an inch. We have to do the same to the front here, to the right side. So I'm just going to grab circle, go up to there, go back to the center, go to there, go to line.
line command. Draw that line in. Draw this one in. Go to trim. Trim that off. Go to home view. Finish sketch. Extrude. Choose that. Hit OK. Go to the back. Do the same thing. Sketch. Circle. Line. Line. Trim. Finish sketch. Extrude. OK. Now I'm going to turn to the front. Put a sketch here. And it shows a radius of a quarter circle here. I'm going to find the center. Go up. Type in 0.5, enter. And my small circle is 0.25 diameter, enter. And I know it tells me that from center to center is 3. So from the center here to there, it's got to be 1.5. Draw a line from there down to here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Go to trim, trim off that circle, arc, and that circle arc, turn it around, finish sketch, extrude, change direction, and we need to go back a half inch. Okay. Now, we could do some mirror commands, some mirror commands and all. But for right now, I'm just going to stick to showing you how to do this. We're going to repeat the same thing here. Sketch. Go to circle. Find the center. Come down. Type in radius 0.25. So it'll be 0.5. Enter. This one will be 0.25. Enter. And again, it's going to be from the center to center. It's going to be 1.5, enter. Go to line command. Come down to here. Come over. Come down to there. Go to trim. Trim all of this off. Finish sketch. Tilt it where you can see what's going on. Go to extrude, change directions, hit OK. Now I'm going to go to the front. I'm going to put a skit. Actually, what I'm going to do here is show you if let me just escape out of that. Okay, I want to see where my planes are located. If I click on that plane go to the top view because I didn't center this when I first started it's no problem w what we need to do is move a work plane over to the center right here a quarter of an inch so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to plane go here and I'm going to drag grab that little circle and drag it over 0.25 enter now when I go to the top I have that work plane right in the center. I'm going to go back to my home view. And I'm going to put a sketch on that work plane. Come out. Actually, do I need to do that? Yeah, I will. I'm going to come out here and right click and go to slice graphics. Go to project geometry. Choose all of those. And that. I need to draw a line out from this corner and it needs to go out 0.25 enter. Hit escape. 
and I'm going to go and choose an arc and I want a three point, arc, three point arc so just come out here and choose any spot here choose the end of that line and the radius we're going to use is a 2. Enter. Go up to tangent. Choose this line and that arc. Go over to line. Get the end point. Come over to here. Get a circle from the same center. Come to the end of that line there. Draw a line from there there. Go to trim. Trim that circle off. There. And go to finish sketch. Go to extrude. Let's see if I can turn this around. I may have something not touching. Let's try to move it this way. Choose that. Make sure it's on a half. Make sure you choose symmetric. Half inch. Hit OK. Now we're going to do the same thing for the bottom. Let me see if we have a axis here. I just want to try one thing. Visibility. try that. I'm going to go back to sketch. Sketch on this area. Let's back up. Finish sketch. I'm going to come over here and delete that. Right click. Delete. And I'm going to turn off that work plane. Okay. I'm going to go back. Get my plane here. Turn on visibility. Go to the top. I'm going to create another work plane here. Drag that over. 0.25. Enter. I'm going to sketch on that plane that's in the center. Come out here, right click, slice graphics. Go to project geometry. Go to line, draw that out, 0.25, enter. Go to arc, choose here, and the end of that line, type in 2 radius. Go to tangent, choose that line and that arc. Go to line, choose the end of the arc to there. circle trim finish sketch turn this around where you can see what's going on extrude symmetric it's already set at a half hit OK alright I'm going to come up and turn these work planes off Turn off visibility. Turn off visibility. Go to home. And straighten that up. I'm going to come here now and sketch on this surface. And I have to put that slot in there that's a half inch. So I'm going to come drop in a 0.5 and a 0.5. They're three inches apart. And it is two inches from this center to enter. Go to line.
trim. Finish sketch. Extrude. Cut. 0.125 enter. Now, last, go to this side, do the same thing. Sketch. Circle. 0.5 enter. I'm just picking any spot right now. 0.5 enter. Dimension. 3. Dimension. Center. Center. 2. Line. Line. Trim. Finish sketch. Extrude. Cut. Okay. Hit home. And I'm going to turn off the X axis. And let's see, what else? Do we have any radius? Yeah, we got to put a half inch radius. Go to fill it. Put a 0.5, enter. Choose that. Apply. Flip this over. Same thing. Apply. And I believe that is all. Let's cancel that. Go to home. And there you have the connecting rod, which is 7.3.